everyone. Uh, how many of you know what an IFSC code is? How many of you have had to type it? Ever made mistakes? <laughs> cool. So uh, it's a fun talk about IFSC codes. Uh, I've done this a couple of times with Flash Talk. Uh, so I work at Razorpay, we do payment things. And as part of payment things, you get to come, I came to know a lot, lot more about these IFSC codes. So what's an IFSC code? Uh, it's one of the most Indian examples of the RS RAS syndrome. If you don't know what the RAS syndrome is, is the redundant acronym syndrome syndrome. Uh, you have ATM machines, uh, you have pin numbers, you have LCD displays, and then you have IFSC codes, where the C stands for code. Uh, so it's the Indian financial systems code. Uh, they are used to identify each and every individual bank branch within India. So if you're a bank, uh, you get to allocate uh, different codes to each of your branches. So an account number uh, is uh, an account number when you want to uniquely identify any specific account. You say, my account number is 1234 tied to this particular branch. Uh, the first four digits are the branch, uh, the bank code, followed by a zero. The zero is mandated. Uh, the next six digits are the branch code. So I could have HDFC 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A. That identifies which branch I am talking about. So uh, this was why I started working on FSC codes. We had the problem to validate a particular given FSC code. Okay. Uh, as fast as possible and get more details if needed for that particular FSC code. So uh, I realized I should get all the data. Uh, I went to the RBI website. This is the first thing you should do for any open uh, FinTech data in India. Uh, got the RBI website, lots, download the entire thing. They give out Excel sheets, of course. Uh, tried passing all the Excel sheets. Of course, there were errors. There are things like NA, lots of a, a hash banks, and lots of weird characters. Uh, fixed all those errors, exported those to nice, clean CSVs, uh, JSON formats. And then I did a, a cute release. Uh, this is the first release we did in uh, February 2017. This is an open source project we run as part of Razorpay. Uh, I'll show you the current website as well. How much time do you have? 219. Thank you. So, while that opens. Uh, so the uh, data set releases we do are monthly. RB updates the data sets every month. Uh, we take the same releases and push them to our servers. Uh, there are around 230,000 FSC code. They've kept increasing, so I think the current number is somewhere around 150,000. Uh, we wanted to do a true false response. You give us an FSC code, we say, hey, is it a correct valid FSC code or not? As fast as possible. So I did a Bloom filter implementation. Bloom filters, for those of you who don't know, are probabilistic data structures, which means they have a 99% chance they'll give you an accurate response and say, hey, I've seen this FSC code before, it looks valid, but there's a 1% chance of false positive where they, the FSC code may be invalid, but they say, oh, it's valid. Uh, so I, I did that. Uh, our Bloom filters don't look nice. They look ugly. You can't open the file. You can't. I can't give that file to my finance department and say, hey, use this nice Excel file. Uh, so it was uh, somewhat ugly. And I decided to do some custom compression thing. IFSC codes in general are very sequential in nature. Uh, you have one code starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the HDFC part will remain constant. And then it'll be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then there'll be some gaps because branches have gone missing. They drowned, I don't know. So I used, made use of this, uh, it's a fake compression thing where I say from S SIBL on the third line, 00001 to 00204 are all valid IFSC codes. It worked well for us. Uh, we have been running this code in production for around uh, more than a year now. Uh, automation is good. So now all of our releases is automated. Whenever I, RBA does a new release, I get notified of, over email. I create a new branch and it automatically gets, uh, almost gets converted to a new release with cute animals. There are lots of quirks. Guess which bank is this? Not yes bank is correct answer. <laughs> this is uh, the response that we return. This is the Navada Central Cooperative Bank Limited. And you're wondering why does it start with the USB? Uh, it starts with the USB because Navada Central Cooperative Bank doesn't have enough money. <laughs> uh, and they, they went to US Bank and said, hey, please give me your IFSC code. So US Bank sublet it out to them. This is a list that NPCA publishes on their website. It tells you which banks have uh, sublet branches from other banks. There are a lot of these similar banks. Cosmos Bank has its own quirks. Uh, beep, yeah. Beep, beep, and yeah, beep, I think that's where I'll stop it. Beep. We have the thing at ifsc.reserpay.com if you're interested. Thank you. <laughs>